How have you liked uh, being kind of the man in the middle, so to speak, of this linebacker uh, grouping? Um, it's been fun. I, I kind of I like being in the middle. You know, being able to. I'm very. I like being very vocal and giving calls, and I, I kind of like the contact. You know, I like dumping guys and whatnot. So it's been fun. You know, I've been having fun, having the time of my life, really. How do you kind of divide the the vocal part of it with with Kenny when you're out there? Well, uh, when I'm in there and Kenny Young is at will, he lets me take over and be the quarterback. You know, giving all the calls and whatnot. But then again, at the same time, there's little things Kenny sees, like little things, the little tendencies the offense does, and he helps let me know, like certain, like okay, bump over a little more here because something he's seen, you know, something he's known from all the years he's been playing the game. For the most part, when I'm in, you know, Kenny Young lets me just give the calls and quarterback the defense like I'm supposed to. How much confidence does that give you to have a guy like Kenny who's been here for a long time? He's a leader of this defense. He says, "Hey, you you can do this, and I believe that you can you can take care of this." Um, it gives me extreme confidence. You know, Kenny's arguably one of the best defensive players in college football. Um, he's been here. You know, he's earned his stripes. This is his fourth year starting. So, you know, having a guy like him who's earned his stripes and whatnot, you know, paid his dues to this game, having a guy like him having faith in me, you know, it just means a lot. I feel like you're kind of built for, I mean, I know that that's, middle linebacker might be like the most punishing of the three as far as the physicality that, that you need. Do you feel like you're built for that? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say I'm built for it, but I embrace it. You know, I embrace the contact and everything that comes with the job and the giving the calls or whatnot. Mm -hmm. What do you think you've improved on the most in the past year to get this confidence from your coaching staff and from your other teammates that you can take this uh, starting jump? Really, like I said, just embracing the job and being more than just a run stuffer as I was before, you know, just being able to move in space and, you know, being able to coverage downfield, you know, not coming off the field in third and long and whatnot. So I've really just been working on uh, my body weight and whatnot and athleticism overall. But what have you thought about the energy that Darnay's brought to the defense? Darnay, Darnay's funny. I like Darnay. He's a great guy, but he, he's a ball player. Like, that's just, he, that is what he is. That's what he does. He, he plays football. He's a great guy. He's a playmaker. You, oh, your jersey number 52 isn't worn by a lot of great linebackers in the NFL in the past. You know, Ray Lewis, Patrick Willis. Do you just wear 52 just because you, you like the number or because of those guys? It's definitely because of those guys. Uh, throughout high school and throughout spring ball, you know, I always watch Ray Lewis and Patrick Willis. Even uh, this past spring ball, every day before practice, I'm sitting there watching some Ray Lewis videos. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason behind the number 52, uh, pretty much. And you that's probably why you like the mic too, huh? Yeah, I guess you can say that, yeah. <laughs> What, uh, what makes Josh Rosen such an effective leader for you guys? Josh is, is just Josh. You know, he does everything right. You're never going to have to correct him, you know, whether it's something big or something little. He's always doing it right, you know, going to never miss in class or whatnot. And he, he's just a leader. He's someone guys respect, you know. So, yeah. When you say never miss in class, is that, is that you? I mean, it's not unique, though. All you guys are, are, are going to Yeah, class, yeah. But I mean, I'm just saying, Josh, you, there's never a problem with Josh. Whatever Josh is supposed to do, you can expect Josh to do it at the best he can possibly do it.